three by-elections in three provinces in a test of the parties ahead of the fall election. And now, by the Pacific edition of The National, CBC News knows the winners in all three ridings. The Conservatives holding on to a seat in Ontario, the Liberals stealing the seat of the former NDP leader in Quebec. And the big story tonight, the current NDP leader, Jagmeet Singh, set to win his seat in British Columbia. This is where those results stand uh, right now in the 10 o'clock hour Pacific time for Burnaby South near Vancouver. Singh is leading by more than 10 percentage points. That's with about 99% of the polls reporting. In fact, as you can see, about 13 percentage points. The Liberal candidate Richard Lee is in second place. With this win, Singh now has a seat in the House of Commons. Our reporter, Briar Stewart, has been with the NDP all night in Burnaby. We spoke with her an hour ago as the NDP leader was giving his victory speech. Well, that's right. Jagmeet Singh walked into a very excited room full of supporters cheering. And as he got on stage, one of the first things he said was that today was a new day. He talked about when he was growing up, he couldn't think of somebody like him running to be prime minister. And he says by winning this seat and now having a seat in the House of Commons, he says it will really inspire a whole new generation of kids. He talked a lot uh, while he was speaking to the crowd about some of the points he made during the campaign, about the importance of connecting with voters. Uh, and it's been reported that he knocked on some 30,000 doors during the whole uh, Burnaby South election campaign. But it's interesting to note that with the votes and the numbers that have come in over Ready. It does look like voter turnout is going to be quite low. And certainly we heard from the NDP and the Liberals throughout all of this that they were really focused on their ground game and getting the vote out today. Well, it was enough, uh, you know, for him to declare victory at this point, but it was certainly not the voter turnout that perhaps people were hoping for. Now, I should say that it's a win for him tonight because this means he'll now have a seat, he'll be able to be in the House of Commons, question the Prime Minister, but there are a lot of challenges still that lie ahead, and he did reference that when he spoke to the crowd. Take a listen. We have eight more months to let the people know that they can choose a government that stands up for people, not for corporations, that doesn't give handouts to SNC-Lavalin, but stands up for everyday Canadians. He's facing a number of questions about just what happens now and how is he going to position the party to be uh, more of a, a dominant player with the election just around the corner. And, I mean, he won tonight, but there, there's so many challenges that lie ahead, given that uh, several NDP incumbents have said that they will not run again. But really, it is still a celebration here tonight because he had been facing so many uh, concerns from, from people in his own party about what would happen to his leadership if he did not win this riding. Well, that hasn't happened. He's won it. And tonight, certainly the NDP here are celebrating. Happiness, maybe even some relief, Breyer. Thank you very much. Today, our voices were heard. Today, the citizens of Outremont, Cotonez, and the Maya land spoke loud and proud in favor of liberal values. That is Rachel Ben Diane. She will be the Liberal MP for Outremont, riding in Montreal the win for her in what was an NDP seat. And you can see uh, right now she has more than 40% of the vote in that riding, the NDP second, about 2,000 votes behind. Everybody in York Simcoe night, thank you so much. And to York Simcoe, the uh, Conservative MP there, Scott Davidson, not really a big surprise. The federal riding just north of Toronto has been a Tory stronghold since 2004. And we'll look at the results there. Davidson with more than half of the votes. The Liberals in second. The NDP in this riding, a distant third. All right, and throughout the evening, we've been getting analysis from Vashik Pelos, the host of Power and Politics on CBC News Network. And uh, Vashi, let's begin with the NDP, this was seen particularly in Burnaby South as a test for the party, and I guess to an extent it was a test that Jagmeet Singh certainly passed. He certainly did. Big sigh of relief from the NDP tonight for a couple of reasons. 
in Burnaby South, especially, obviously the stakes were very high. This is Jagmeet Singh's now run for a seat in the House of Commons that he's successfully obtained. The pressure was most certainly on him to perform, and he did. He didn't just, uh, you know, match what the NDP won at this stage. We don't have all the polls reporting in, but it looks like he was able to build on the support from the last election. You look at the faces behind him, a real cross-section of Canadians supporting him in this. You heard Breyer describe what his message was. Clearly, it resonated with the voters in Burnaby. So big sigh of relief for the NDP there. The other front, Outremont, kind of a silver lining here. They certainly didn't win the seat that was held by Tom Mulcair by a long shot, but at a showing of about 20 27 percent, which is, I think, the number you just had up there for Julia Sanchez, the NDP candidate there, that is better than it could have been. So it could have been a lot worse than that. They could have had under 20 percent. They're, they're still, I'm sorry, showing signs of life in Quebec, and that is very important when you look towards the federal election. We should point out, though, I think a low turnout uh, in Burnaby South, for sure, and the NDP machine was in full force. So you figure they, you know, pushed out as many voters as they could, and you wonder, in a general election with a bigger turnout, what uh, might happen. I guess we'll see in just a few months. But listen, another storyline I want to ask you about, and it played out so differently in York Simcoe in Ontario as opposed to Burnaby South, is the new party on the right, the People's Party. It really did, and we were looking to see how is this brand new party just kind of formed in the fall, led by Maxime Bernier, the renegade conservative who left the party back in the summer. How will it perform so early in its sort of lifeline? And we have two very different results. In Burnaby South, the candidate there, a polarizing figure, but one who was pretty well known in the community, uh, got about 11 percent of the vote at this stage. That's a pretty big number for a brand new party. Take the flip side in Outremont, Quebec, and particularly in the 905, where we were watching very closely to see if the People's Party of Canada would shave off some support, crucial support for the Conservatives in that region. Uh, they were not able to do so. They got between 1 and 2 percent. So very different outcomes in two different parts of the country. Hard to tell exactly what it means for the federal election at this point. I was sitting on my couch in Vancouver early this morning, Vashi. You were already live on television. It's been a long day. You're You've sick done of me, a great job. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for uh, all your help thank this evening. You.